Hello and welcome everyone to Oil Asset of the Day for the 28th of April 2020 presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So first of all, over the course of this week so far, we have seen oil prices drop from $17 per barrel down to that 10 US dollar per barrel handle. In fact, we covered that in detail on Monday's Commodity Week Ahead report. Feel free to go back and watch that, where we were anticipating oil prices to roll over and hit that very key level of 10 US dollars per barrel. Now, of course, this is following on from last week where the May contract that dropped as low as 40 US dollars per barrel. We then saw, of course, a transition over to the June contract and the June contract has also been under pressure. So it's dropped now over the course of this week, 39%. So with that 10 US dollar per barrel level hit earlier on today, we're starting to see some support come back into oil. However, I'm a bit suspect of this move right now. I suspect that over the course of the June contract, we could have another rollover back towards the swing lows here and that would take the price back sub 10 us dollars per barrel we're seeing a bit of a bounce at the moment for crude oil prices but you also want to keep a very close eye on the narratives right now particularly the oil inventory data now the major news items that we have coming up this week that will affect crude oil will be tuesday's api data we have wednesday's oil inventories data but also the fomc statement later on in the session on wednesday at 7 p.m london time this can also be a catalyst for some big moves for crude oil. Of course, that would also have an impact on the US dollar index. The US dollar typically breakouts to the upside. They put pressure on oil to the downside, whereas sell-offs like we're seeing today on the US dollar, they do tend to provide some support to oil priced in US dollars. So I would keep a very close eye on those major news items over the course of this week. Ultimately, any rallies that we see on oil, they need to sustain a breakout above that 17 US dollar per barrel handle. If we can get a break and a close above that level, that's where we can start to make a recovery back towards $20 per barrel. Otherwise, we're liable to another rollover back to $10 per barrel. And I suspect we could break below that level and get a revisit back towards the swing lows if 10 US dollars per barrel does not hold. So with that, that's been oil asset of the day. And of course, I wish you good trading.